In Greater Idlib, Hayat Tirel Asham HTS lost quite a bit of equipment when a weapon depot in the village of Ma'aret Shalef exploded. The reason behind the explosion is unknown, but it was completely destroyed on July 26th. According to unconfirmed reports, earlier in the same day, clashes took place between unknown gunmen and members of HTS at the Al Ram checkpoint near the town of Ma'arat Sarin. The clashes reportedly followed an attack by the gunmen, who were later forced to escape. Meanwhile, the Russian Aerospace Forces VKS continued to pound ground positions and facilities of the so-called moderate opposition in Greater Idlib in response to ceasefire violations. VKS warplanes struck an underground terrorist facility in the area near the villages of Kansafra and Albara in the southern part of Idlib province. The Syrian Arab army also bombarded the town of Shifun in the same area with heavy artillery. Meanwhile, in the northeast, the exchange between the Turkish armed forces and the militants it backs against the U.S.-backed Syrian Democratic Forces, SDF, shows no promise of ending. The SDF announced the killing of one of their fighters by Turkish artillery, shelling one of their positions in the northern countryside of Aleppo. Syrian media reported that Turkish shelling resulted in the injury of several civilians. Ankara's forces struck the villages of al hoshiria and al arima north of Al-Bab city and the villages of Sheikh Isa and Aras, which are affiliated with the Tel Rafat township in Aleppo. In response, the SDF bombarded the western outskirts of the city of Azaz in the northern countryside of Aleppo. No casualties were reported. Turkey, however, didn't simply take it without a response and shelled FDF positions in Mara'anaz, also in Aleppo. This shelling is a daily occurrence, as Turkish-backed forces shelled SDF positions near the Mingah Air Base, Mara'anaz, and the Ayan Dinkara areas on July 25th as well. The SDF usually respond by targeting the Turkish-occupied city of Afrin, but also often strike other positions of Ankara's and pro-Ankara forces in other areas. Finally, in addition to fighting against the SDF and other Kurdish groups, the factions backed by Turkey are also frequently fighting amongst themselves. On July 25th, infighting with light and medium weapons erupted within the Turkey-backed Chaish al shakiria in the city of Ras al -Ayan. Five militants were injured in the clashes. Such infighting is quite common and has claimed the lives of dozens of militants. Civilian casualties have also been reported, as well as damage to private property.